What's going on guys? I just got home from work, had a couple packages in the mailbox here and I wanted to open them up. So let's find out what's going on. Now this one uh, is from Johnny Banks. No surprise there. Guy sends me something like every freaking week. Now he's had this pre-ordered for a while. He told me about this one a while back. So this has been pre-ordered for, for a good long while. So I've been dying to know what this is. I haven't been looking on Amazon to see what comes out at this time to ruin the surprise for me. Um, and then we got this one, which is from Mark Harrison. Um, uh, there's more in here than I thought. He told me one thing that's in here, I think. Yeah, but the other things I have no idea. So anyway, all right, let's get to Johnny's first because I've got to know what this pre-order is. We've got, it's got a slipcase. Oh. Oh. Deep Rising. Did this just come out? Oh, it's Kino. Kino Lorber. I love Kino Lorber's stuff. Um, they did all of the Mario Baba stuff. And those are some of the prettiest cleanups that I, I haven't seen Deep Rising in forever. Oh, this is totally a Monster Monday pick right here. Probably this week. Um, absolutely. So, uh, look for this Monster Monday right here. There we go. There I got my Monster Monday pick. Thank you. I didn't know this was coming out. And I, as I said, Kino, wow, they do incredible cleanups. So that's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't even know that I was getting a Blu-ray release. I have seen it one time when it came out. So it'll basically be like, I'm watching it for the very first time. That's cool, man. I, yeah. How exciting. Ton of special features here. Audio commentaries, interviews. Uh, tons and tons of interviews, Jesus. Uh, wow, this is cool. And it's region A for anybody who doesn't have a region free player. I do, but just in case you don't, this is a, an American release, or at least it's a region A anyway. Huh, I can't wait to pop that in 1998. 20 years old now, Jesus Christ. Okay, so now, Mark Harrison. Let's see. Now, he told me, oh, God damn. Shit, I should have brought a knife. I'm gonna have to bite this fucker open. Uh, what do I do all these push-ups for if I can't open something up? Okay, so first up, we've got this, uh, the, the Haunting of Julia. AKA Full Circle. This I knew I was getting because he talked to me about this. He recommended it to me in my uh, 10 unknown found footage or whatever videos and he wanted me to kind of know this. He said this is like super hard to get, hence the uh, bootleg copy of it here. I usually don't do these kinds of things, but he said, yeah, that was like one of the only ways to get it. He really wants me to watch it. I know literally nothing about it except for that it's found footage, right? My, I'm, I'm, I'm memorying this correct. Memoring? Memoring? Remembering. Got a letter here. I don't know if I should open that on here or not. Some dick pics or something. <laughs> oh yeah, he also said he was sending a flash drive with uh, dick pics. There you go, there's the dick pics. No, um, with some movies on it. Um, as I said, I'm, I'm not a torrenter. I like paying for things. Uh, when I when I rent them or watch them, but uh, I'm guessing these are more rare things that you can't get otherwise. So thank you. And if I don't like them, I can just erase them and then put something good on here, right? Just kidding. Well, kind of, maybe, right? After I watch them, if I don't like them, get rid of them. Our, oh, cool, cool, cool road games. How fantastic! This is uh, one of the, this is like Jamie Lee Curtis's um thriller it's not really a horror movie per se but it's like a thriller horror kind of thing it's really the one no one talks about from her uh halloween prom night um terror train like she did a couple she did like four or five horror movies in a row and then halloween too obviously um right after halloween she kind of got locked into being the scream queen and this is 81, if I remember correctly. So uh, this is just around the exact same time she was making Halloween 2 um, and after like Terror Train and whatnot. And she also was in The Fog as well. Um, but yeah, this is like that one of Jamie Lee Curtis. Stacy Keach is in this as well. Uh, the dude with the hair lip. <laughs> Stacy Keach, I love Stacy Keach. Uh, truck Drivers. Um, 
it's a cool movie. I've seen it once, but I saw it because uh, it was so unavailable when I, when I was looking for it that I actually watched a YouTube copy of it because it was the only way I could get it at that time, and it was terrible. Now, we got it on Blu-ray. This needs a revisit for sure. Maybe I'll run a, like a Jamie Lee Curtis marathon where I knock out the movies, although I've already done Halloween 1, 2, and Terror Train. <laughs> so I won't have much left, but I do want to run through the prom nights. So uh, maybe I'll just tack this on with the prom nights. That's cool. And it's, who is this? Umbrella? I know Umbrella is making the uh, Dawn of the Dead. Or no, uh, Night of the Living Dead Blu-ray. Um, but they're like Australian or something, if I remember correctly. Um, so, but I don't know what region this is. I think it's region. It's region. Oh, it's all region. It's an ABC. So you can play it on anything. Um, but if I remember correctly, they're all Australian. Could be wrong on that. Well, that's cool. Road games, because it ain't American. And you can tell that by the, the mature right there. That's fun. All right. Thank you. Hell yeah. This is a great one, man. I don't own it either. And then we have got Ghost Keeper. The last 15 to 20 minutes is tense and horrific. Treading the middle ground between psychological and supernatural horror. Uh, so says MJ Simpson, the UK film expert. I want to be a film expert. Code Red. Code Red. They made the, um, the Beyond the Door DVD that was out of print forever and you couldn't get a hold of the fucking thing. Um, yeah, 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 I remember my, my Code Red uh, Beyond the Door. This is, this is like... You had to really pick this up. Beyond the Door, 1, 2, and 3. Shock and Amok Train. Anybody big fans of like Italian cinema? This is like a total Exorcist ripoff. Uh, they actually got sued by the Exorcist and they won. They, they had to pay their money out because it was almost identical to the Exorcist. Uh, but I really like that movie and I really like Shock and I also really like Amok Train. So that's a good trilogy. Anyways, back to this one. I don't know this movie at all. That's why I'm pushing it off. Like, I get flustered when I don't know what a movie is. <laughs> So I'll change the subject and I'll start talking about something else. Like, look, I know a lot about Beyond the Door and the, and the company that it's related to. So this is another ABC. Um, so it's all regions. Um, I'm not super familiar with Code Red outside of what I, I had just mentioned. That's a DVD. So I don't know what their transfers are like. I don't know a damn thing about this movie. We got a tagline here. I'm a big tagline fan. I got a flash flood warning. This is why I need to put my shit on uh, airplane mode when I record. <laughs> Oops. But uh, anyways, I was saying I love taglines. So, who is next to become the keeper of the beast that lives on human flesh? Oh, Jesus. Uh, Crowd-pleasing genre fun. Ghost Keeper is a strangely satisfying. I know nothing about this movie. Uh, I don't recognize any names. I'm guessing this is a favorite of yours. A trio of friends snowmobiling, tripping to the Canadian Rockies, become lost, venturing up a trail during a snowstorm. They stumble upon an abandoned hotel lodge, blah, blah, blah. Grave danger, typical... Yeah, cool. UK, poorly distributed... On home video as a second title in the 1980s, whatever. Um, I'll look more into this. I know nothing about it, but thank you. I uh, cool. It must be a favorite of yours or something that you think I need to see. These are cool ones, man. I love that I'm getting sent movies that I don't own because I own so much shit that people are really having to kind of dig deep um, to find things that I don't have. Let me look at this card really quick. To uh, Make sure, I don't know if it's like intimate, if it's going to be like a love letter or anything. I have a very high opinion of myself, clearly. Hey Jason, just wanted to say thank you for all the great video reviews. It is a pleasure finding people who are like-minded about film and the art of film. I don't know why film is in quotations, but maybe it's because I review all sorts of things related to film. Um, and the joy I can bring to the people, or two people, I hope you enjoy these movies and stuff. The Jump Drive has some stuff on it. I hope you like. Thanks again, Mark. Thank you, Mark. This is awesome. This is like... Those who bring sunshine to the lives of others cannot keep it from themselves. 
This is a very gay card. <laughs> Uh-oh. I said gay. My life's over. I better take my fucking thing down. I'm not insinuating that you are. I don't give a shit either way. Oh, man. This is cute. Where'd you get this? It's funny. Look at this little fucking thing. What are these for? Placeholder? That's just purely there for, like, aesthetics? It's funny. Mark, thank you. I hope I made you laugh. I'm just joking around. Um, cool shit, guys. So, that was fun. Uh, a little little flash flood warning there in the middle to kind of interrupt there for a second. But, um, that was fun. So, thank you, guys. If you want to send me anything and have me open it here on the channel and be a dick about it, uh, the... Address will be in the description below. That address will be good until about October 1st because I am then moving. So I will have a new one by then. But until then, guys, thanks for watching as always. All right.